In this video, you will learn how to assign standard fields to our migration templates in SAP s hana I am here in the Fiori Launchpad and we will first create a new migration project via the Migrate Your Data application. Select this one. Over here we click on Create, Migrate Data using Staging Tables. Now we need to provide a name, let's say Test123. Then we need to select a database connection. For now, we will choose local SAP s database schema, so we are not connecting to a remote database. That's it. Now let's scroll down. Now here we can select a development package. For now, I will take a local package and click on step 3. And now we need to choose the migration objects. Let's say we want to add a new standard field in our migration template for migrating accounts receivable open items. So I will choose open items over here. And then select here Accounts Receivable Open Item, mark it, and move it here to the right hand side. That's fine. Now we can scroll down, click on Review. We will get here this warning message that there are predecessor objects, but for now this is fine. We will select here Do Not Add and Create Project. Now here you can see our project. Let's navigate into this one. And this is fine for now. Now we will navigate to the backend system. So here we are in the backend system and we will navigate to the transaction called LTMOM. Now over here we need to choose project and then we can search for our project that we just created. So we select here the input help, type in test123, hit on execute and over here we can see our project. Double click on it and that's fine. Now you can see a kind of structure open with lots of different subfolders. For now, we will click here on Migration Objects, navigate into this one, and then double click here on Source Structures. Now over here we can see all the different fields that are available. However, we will now click here on Edit, and afterwards we will click here on this paper to create a new source field. Now we scroll down, and you can see the system already created here the source field starting with double Z. Let's edit the name. Let's say we want to add the standard field for our sold to party to the open item template. So I will say ZZ sold to. Let me actually expand the view a bit. Let's scroll down again. Now we need to define the type of field. It's a character field as well. And it's a bit unhandy as you can see. Let's scroll down again. We need to define here the length of the field. So let's say up to 10. That's basically it. Now I will adjust the screen a bit and we can click here on save. Now next off we will go here to the field mapping. So click on this one with a double click and over here we can now see the source fields and if we scroll down a bit then we will also see the field we added. Now in the target structure we will select the field that we want to assign this field to. So I will use the search help and search for sold and over here we can see the sold to party. So make sure that both are selected, so highlight it here with blue and then right click on the target field and click on assign rule. A rule proposal exists, for now we will say no. We will insert here the rule name which is called move and then we hit on enter. Now you can see there is a parameter being displayed sender field and over here we insert the parameter value. So let's use the value help. We will scroll down up until we can see here the field we created ZZ sold to. Double click. That's fine. We can now click here on assign rule. Okay. Then we click on save. The application data was saved. Now the last step is we need to activate it via this button over here. So click on Generate. We can see it's now adjusting our migration object structures. This can take a bit and we can see there are no error messages, so this is fine. We can now go out of this view here, hit on Yes and that's it. Now let's navigate back to Fiori to see how this looks like. Back in Fiori, if we now click here on Download Template, XML file, you can see the system displays a message that it cannot download the 
template. This is because the selected migration objects need to be updated. If we click on view details, we can see that custom fields exist for the migration object below. To be precise, this is not a custom field. We added here, we added a standard field. Custom fields would be added via the custom fields in logic application. However, you can see here, we have to update the migration object with the custom field. So we hit on OK and click here on the migration object itself. Then over here, we have certain fields. Check for updates. This would be if SAP updated the template, then we can check here frequently. Or in our case, we will click here on check for custom fields. Now we can see custom fields exist. The migration object has been updated. Okay, so now we can go back. Then we can click here on download template again. XML file. Hit on OK. Now the file was downloaded and I will now drag and drop this file on a plain Excel file to open it. I will do this in the background. Now we can see here our well-known template. And if we go here to the customer open item section and scroll far to the right, we will find here our new added field, which is the sold to party. And this we can now fill and then continue our migration. Okay, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Also make sure to subscribe to my Patreon, where we have a community chat and where I post lots of informative blog posts about SAP. The link is in the bio of my channel. Thanks a lot and see you next time.